I have become so inspired mm -hmm. by the women that yes. I've interviewed. It has done something for me mm -hmm. um, internally, really. Yeah. Uh, it's just grown my heart wow. so many times to see the, the beauty that is out there and the yes. impact that yes. women are having. This is Don't Fear Grit with Rob Taormina. Marketing strategies and advertising technologies to help you build a better business. Hey guys, welcome back. And uh, today on the show, we have someone pretty special who not only uh, created her own product, a brand new product, uh, she's got a really cool background in nursing, uh, but she's all about empowering women, which I think is so incredibly important. And uh, so I'm so honored to be able to have her here on the show. And I just want to welcome her. Thanks so much for coming out. Thank you, Rob. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, you're welcome. Before we start, I want you to give uh, our audience some context of who you are and uh, you know why you're here, which is really about uh, this celebrating a woman sort of concept. So let them know who you are and everything that you're doing. Okay, well, I'm a registered nurse by profession, uh -huh. and that has afforded me the opportunity to do many, many medical missions and yeah. love and serve all over the world. Wow, really? Yeah, it's been fascinating, um, and all because of the the gift of, of being a nurse. Yeah. What are some of the countries that you've been to? Uh, Nigeria, Liberia, wow. Ethiopia, Greece. A lot of the Ias. <laughs> Bahamas. <laughs> <laughs> Bahamas. <laughs> so um, just uh, providing medical care. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. So. Uh, how, how many years have you been in sort of that line of work? I've been a nurse for 20 years, and I've been doing the um, mission work, yeah. uh, medical work all, all across the world for about t uh, 10 of those years. Wow. Yeah, last, the last 10. Holy cow. And That's so, incredible. Yeah. I've actually known a few people that have, have you know, been in that line of work, and anytime they come back, they tell these amazing stories. Um, but one thing that I get from it is how hard it is. I mean, it's really laborious yes. to be a part of, of some of these mission trips as it relates from the medical world, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And long hours. Long hours. You know, you don't have the same sort of access to resources like you would no. in a hospital here. And, no, and not even, you know, sometimes you don't have running water and electricity and the oh base, my gosh. what we consider the basics. Yeah. Um, they're not basic yeah. in a country yeah. that's either been through war or, um, you know, acts yeah. of nature, things yes. like that. You know, I know working stateside, I mean, obviously in your line of work, you're saving people's lives every single day, but you know, when you go outside of the states and you're in these other you know, areas, saving people's lives is, is sometimes the simplest of problems for them that could cause something really dangerous. And you being there literally is the difference of life and death. Yeah, it's, it's been an amazing way to love and serve yeah. um, and use skills that I have to you know, help somebody else. Yeah, it's, yeah. You really care about uh, human beings, don't I, you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. So that that also then evolved into my work with celebrating women. I, yeah. Um, I write a blog and I publish it to eight social media platforms. Wow. Uh, with the goal of demonstrating that every woman is a role model. Yeah. So what we do is we tell their story. Mm. Um, sometimes you know, women are invisible, and yeah. I try to provide a platform that they're not invisible right. and, sh and share their value and their worth and in turn they inspire another woman or young girl sure. through their stories. Yeah. So you do this by telling and, and featuring the stories of other women. So you interview yeah. other women? I interview other women. Um, okay. Yeah, how gosh. many How many people have you interviewed so far? 60. 60? Yeah. The big six zero. Holy you know, cow, that's a lot of interviews. <laughs> it sounds like a lot, yeah. but when I had set a goal to, for 365 interviews, wow. so that I, and then I want to publish a book like a devotional, yeah. one woman's story for Love each it. day of the year. Love it. But so then when you hear 60 compared to 365, you got some, some got ways to go. go. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> but you're listen, you are well on your way, though. 60 people, that's incredible. And I'm sure you have a, a few uh, stories that stand out. Can you just sort of like tell us, like, you know, what's some of these stories that you're hearing from, from these empowering stories that you're hearing? You know, one story I heard was a young lady um, out, out further out west. Yeah. She is a mechanic. And what she does in her spare time. Breaking the stereotype. A, breaking the stereotype. Love it. B, what she does in her spare time is teaches other women how to keep up the maintenance on their cars, maintain yeah. their cars so that they're not maybe dependent yes. on somebody else yes. to do that for them. So it's really, her work is so empowering. Absolutely. And I have become so inspired mm -hmm. by the women that yes. I've interviewed. It has done something for me mm -hmm. um, internally, really. Yeah. Uh, it's just grown my heart wow. so many times to see the, the beauty that is out there and the yes. impact that yes. women are having, and they don't even realize it. And so when Celebrating Women publishes their story, 
um, and they get to share it with friends and yeah. we're really celebrating that particular woman. Yes, yeah. Um, it's, it's a great opportunity. Wow. Yeah. Uh, one of my aunts is actually, uh, not anymore, she's retired, but she was a mechanic. Mm -hmm. And I gotta be honest, she was a better mechanic than anyone that I've ever experienced in my life, ever. And I know I'm biased because she's family. <laughs> um, but honestly, she was able to build a really great sort of like loyal clientele and a great mm -hmm. business and she had her, her her um, her shop, I guess is the right term, on down in Virginia. She was amazing. She was like the sought out uh, yeah. mechanic, and she was amazing. So I I firmly believe that you know the you know there's no such thing as like gender only roles. I think it's nonsense. Right. So I'm I I'm totally on board with what your mission is here, and I'm seeing it firsthand. And um, even uh, my wife, um, she, my wife, uh, yeah, two years ago shared her story. My wife has an incredible story, and and uh, but this particular one had to do with our triplets. We have triplets mm -hmm. right now; they're nine, which is amazing. Yeah, we're surviving. I should have a T-shirt <laughs> that says "I've survived triplets." Um, but she herself has an amazing story about even you know how she was born. She was born several months premature, mm -hmm. where the doctor said that she would never sort of um, you know make it through the night. And uh, you know, thirty uh, eight years later, she's still here and strong. And yeah. you know, my wife is an attorney. And uh, you know, and definitely is breaking sort of that that mold. mold. But she talked about um, this whole you know role as a, as a woman mm -hmm. of not even just a role as a professional woman, right. but a role as a mom as at how yeah. important of a job and the value there as yes. well. And she's told this story and it went viral, and which is crazy. And this past uh, month, we got a message. I, I have an employee that also is from Serbia. And my, my employer reaches out to me and we're like, um, you were just on the front page, your wife, rather your wife was just on the front page of our paper. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> and sure enough, my wife's story um, made it to the front page of, of the Serbian new, newspaper translated in Serbian, which is which is crazy. And it was all this whole premise of, that, of the strength of women. Yes. And and um, I, I, I believe like you, like you're saying here is that uh, there's been a little bit of neglect you know, without a doubt. And, uh, but I, I think that 2020 is the year of the woman. Oh, most definitely. Right? Most definitely. Even just seeing, um, you know, whether you agree with their politics or not, two women candidates yeah. is s That's striking. That's incredible. Yeah, 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 for, for president. So. I think the fact that they're just candidates, whether or not they win, I think inspires probably a lot of yes. people. Yes, yes. Um, it, it is, and that's what the whole Celebrating Women movement is about, yeah. is I'm sharing other women's stories, mm -hmm. but they are also sharing uh, um, inspiration yeah. um, and encouragement sure. for another woman. Yes. And so we really have, you know, it's a, a ripple impact. Mm -hmm. And um, from my point of view, you know, this work with uh, women's equality mm -hmm. started over 100 years ago. That's right. But it's incumbent upon each generation yeah. to continue on. Absolutely. Take that baton and keep yes, on running with yes. it without a doubt. You know, where we've come a long way, there's still a long way to go. There is, absolutely. Right? So I want to really talk about your journal here. I got to um, sort of uh, thumb through it a little bit. So for everyone who's not watching the, watching the show, but they're just listening to the show, is she really has uh, Diane, right? Yes. You've put together a beautifully crafted book Thank here. Thank you. And everyone, you should definitely take a look at it, seek it out. Um, where can people actually find uh, your your journal, your planner. It's for sale on Amazon. Simple oh, okay. as that. Just celebrating women yeah. planner. Okay. And uh, type that into the Amazon search. Yeah, and you'll come find right it. Up. Yeah. It's really beautiful. Thank like you. I love the font. I love the color. It's nice and clean. Um, my wife is a big journaler. Obsessed, by the way, obsessed with journaling. She tries to get my kids involved in it, and they journal a little bit. One of my daughters is more into it than others, but my wife has had a journal every single year. Mm -hmm. I think honestly she was born with a journal, like her parents just birthed her and there she was with, <laughs> with a journal. And uh, But yeah, every single year she gets a brand new journal and it's like the Bible to her, like she, she takes care of it. Yeah. Um, and, and so if if you are a journaler and a planner, mm -hmm. I think this is a really a, a great compliment um, to your journals. And I mean, everyone should just take a look at it, see how beautiful it is. But more than just being a planner and a journal, mm -hmm. what's sort of unique about this? What's unique is of the 60 women that I've interviewed so far, I've included quotes from those interviews, mm. one uh, one for each week, um, surrounded by some beautiful artwork to wow. really showcase their words um, of inspiration mm -hmm. for another woman and young girl. So these aren't your typical quotes that you might yeah. have heard from either Eleanor Roosevelt or yeah. Maya Angelou. These are from the w women from all right. walks of life that have interviewed This her. is your neighbor. This is, yeah, yeah, yeah I got it. Yeah, I love it. Would you? I'm putting you on the spot. Okay. Would you mind maybe reading one to us? Would that be uh, okay? Sure, okay. Okay. <laughs> Let's see. You can start from January. 
<laughs> you know what? I'll just open up to this one. This Perfect. is Kristen Summers. And Kristen is actually um, a lovely um, woman and a mother of two beautiful children. And that is her job. Yeah. She's a stay-at-home uh, stay mom right yeah. now. So um, don't ever feel like you're not good enough. Life is full of trials and errors, and your past mistakes do not define who you are today. Overcome your fears. Take chances. Don't live with regret. Do what brings happiness to your heart. Live a life worth telling a story about. You are beautiful and brave. That's that, Chris, Kristen Summers. That is incredible. I mean, honestly, can I have one of these? Is, is it just for <laughs> women? Because this makes me feel so good about myself after reading something like that. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So I, it, it's a platform for, for the women. Yeah. But then it's also a platform for other women mm. to look to for inspiration and encouragement. Yeah. Um, we can't all aspire to be um, Beyonce, who is beautiful and Fabulous has a fabulous business yeah. and and a great voice. Right. But we can't all aspire to be Beyonce. Sure. Yeah. Even though she's got several characteristics that would be considered a role model. Sure. But we can read stories about other women who are yes. just like us. Yeah. Yeah. And it's it I think it will heal this generation of women. Yeah. And also possibly save the next generation yeah. of from going through what what we've yeah. been through. And they can take that baton and they can go forward I, I believe that I love the fact that you're this is like a collaboration you're involving um, a whole group of women to be a part of this you know yes. one thing that I, I teach regularly whether it be at our workshops or here in the show is that life's not meant to be navigated alone we have been created to do life together I so agree and when we do life together you know a, a one of the benefits of doing it is that the tide rises for all ships and that means that we all then become successful in our own right and success by the way is a relative term mm -hmm. you know success is not necessarily it's not just money I'm, and I don't define success actually by, my, by my, money me neither you know I did, I'll define success as you know accomplishing a goal you successfully accomplished a goal you successfully raised your kids. Mm -hmm. So these are all, 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 all ways that you could define success. And when we do it together, we could do a better job at it. And I think what you're doing is you're, you're basically just being more intentional about it and you're giving other women a voice and yes. a platform to do this. And I think it's extraordinary. Thank you. It's, an, it's a form of advocacy, if you will. And I think that comes from being a nurse as well. Mm. Um, I, our role as nurses, besides all the skills that we have, is yeah. to really advocate for our patients. Yes. And so this is a, a form of advocacy in itself, mm. is um, giving women their time yes. and their moment to um, express themselves yeah. however they wish to, right. to inspire another woman, a young girl. Amazing. Thank you. Um, now I, I know you've done sixty. You want to do mm. three hundred and sixty-five. <laughs> yes. So you know. So this is a, this is a long-term project you're committed to. Mm -hmm. And uh, if like, how do you find a woman that you want to feature and that you want to interview? Well, it's it's simple, but yet not simple. It's simple in that any woman is invited yeah. to um, participate yeah. and be interviewed. Mm -hmm. Every woman is invited to participate. I don't. Um, decide or vet right, right. or look at the submissions and say oh not this one mm -hmm. i've accepted every single submission yeah. and will continue to do so yes um the trouble is some women will feel oh not me yeah you know oh i know somebody diane yeah but not me or they lack the confidence maybe. you know and i'm like yeah. no but i'm talking to you right right and i every woman has a story and every yes. woman is a role model and yeah. i'd love if you would just share a little piece of your life yeah it's really going to impact another woman or young girl yeah i i agree and and i agree that more people should should speak out um about their their experiences mm -hmm. um because you know we go through life and, and sometimes we don't realize the impact we're making on the people around us. And sometimes it's the smallest task or it's the, just a simple kind word that really changes the landscape for someone. Yeah. Uh, whether it be you're online at a grocery store and you just pass a kind word to the someone behind you and you leave, you have no idea the impact you just made because in that moment that person probably needed that. Right. And, and, so, and I'm liking it to what you're saying is that everyone has something of value mm -hmm. to offer and you simply just gotta sort of 
you know, have that conversation. And that's why I like your conversational element. I like that you're interviewing. I like that you're showcasing because, you know, all of these stories are relatable to someone. Right. We've got over 7 billion people in this world. <laughs> Trust me, what you're going through is relatable to someone. Right. And I think it's almost like, it's almost like our job, I think. Um, to be a positive impact on other people and to be transparent of what we're doing. You know, absolutely, because you are going to have an impact. It's either going to be positive or negative. Yeah. So you need to choose, and you need to choose wisely, and then you need to go out and do it. Yeah. So. Oh, without a doubt, <laughs> action. You yes. know, it's, it's one thing to say it. It's another thing to, to actually do it. Right, right. You know, so. put a little effort behind and it. And do it scared. It's okay. I've been, yeah. I've been scared plenty. Yeah. But, um, you know, courage, as we know, is not the absence of fear. And do it with somebody yeah. and do it together and bring another person along. I've yeah. done that in my nursing career as well. Like rather than discussing something about somebody behind their back that they, you know, that maybe that they're not doing well, yes. just grab them by the hand and take them along and yes. show them the way. Yes. You know, there's no reason to um, disempower somebody else yeah. in order to empower yourself. Exactly. Um, I love your platform, and if someone, let's say, wants to reach out to you, mm. they're just like they're just inspired right now by what you're what you're sharing. Is how can people find you? Well, celebrating women is all all over. We're on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Tumblr, LinkedIn, Medium. We're on all the social media platforms, um, and then myself personally, Diane Curley. I'm on. I mean, you could just reach out to me. <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not one of the people who. I'll connect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You want to have that conversation. Yeah. I'll have that conversation with you. I got no you. No problem. And uh, so all these blogs that you're you're interviewing various women, they, mm -hmm. they, that's all there. You don't take them down, right? You leave them up there for everyone to sort of They're see. They're up. They're up because it's it's a lot of fun then to look back mm. then. And also I'll provide updates. Like if you've already interviewed with me, but then something significant has sure, occurred in your up. life. Yeah, I'll, yeah. I'll do a follow up to your story and, and update so we can all celebrate you again. I love it. Yeah, I love it. All right. So you got your planner here mm -hmm. that by the way is absolutely beautiful. Thank you so much. And of course, and they can find this on, on Amazon. Mm -hmm. Now this is for 2020. Do you have plans of doing this, I guess, every year and creating a brand new planner? Yes, and so then the women who interview going forward would, would be, be featured in the next planner. In the next planner, yeah. All right, so mm -hmm. then once you get to that 365, we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're looking forward to then, this amazing book. Yes, then there's the book, yes, okay. when I get to 365. And it'll yeah. be like a devotional, so you don't read it cover to cover. You just yes. flip it open and read some inspirational story on any given day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Now, I know you're wearing an amazing shirt. Oh, thank you. All right, so for people that are listening and not watching, can you share a little bit about your shirt? Um, it says, Empowered Women empower women and that's just it in a nutshell and yeah. we are all empowered to help another person yeah. it's within us yes. it's not a superpower yeah you know you don't it's it's within you yes. just reach out your hand and help another person yeah and then you are empowering them mm. so by like you said before a kind word yes. even a smile is empowering yeah you can, can inspire someone yeah, yeah and yeah. um and just you know just be there for people um yeah. that like i totally agree this life is not meant to be lived alone yep and i'm lucky enough to um and grateful that i have people around me who you know friends who are family yeah. honestly yeah that's amazing so uh, situational. We're, we're, I have a couple more questions. Okay. I'm, not, I'm not gonna like hammer you too hard. I That's promise. Okay. But you've been great. Uh, Thank you. But uh, one thing, uh, situationally, is yeah. let's say there's a uh, person who's listening, and they're struggling with confidence. Mm. They want to break out of their shell, but they are really just getting in their own way, and they're struggling to do that. Um, based on the experience you've had, I mean, you've you've spoken with a tremendous amount of people so far. Um, what what would you say? What, what kind of advice would you give to someone like that? I would say to volunteer for something, mm. right? Even in your own community, yeah, because that will uh, something that you might enjoy doing, and that yeah. will get you around other people who are like-minded. Yeah, they might not be exactly like you, but they'll be like-minded, and that will introduce you to people to, um, who can then help you along your way, and you'll you'll gain confidence from being around others, and li lifting others, you lifting yourself. That is a great tip. I love that. So, so just getting involved as a volunteer. Sure. That's a great transitional tip. Holy cow! That's deep. <laughs> in your own in your own community, you don't yeah. have to travel the world. Like, no. You know. No. There's plenty of opportunities Absolutely. locally. The community yeah. needs a lot of help. And yeah. what a You're great way to get started. Right. Could exactly. Use your help. <laughs> what a great little tip. All right. Two more questions for okay. you. These are the hardest ones. All right. 
I'm ready. All right. <laughs> I'll start with this one. What is either your a favorite book or a book that you recently read? Could be anything. Okay. I already know. Oh, My wow. favorite book. It's such a chick book, too. But <laughs> <laughs> Eat, Pray, Love. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That was transformative. Yeah. I loved that book. Did you see the movie, too? Yes, but I like the book better. It's always the case. The book is always yeah. better than the movie. And I still have that yeah. book. You know, sometimes you yeah. read books, but then you'll, you know, then you'll yes. give them away. Whatever. No, Eat, Pray, Love, I, I still, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I still, I, I'm, I'm with you. There's just few books that I just fell in love with so much that it goes like back on the top shelf. Yeah. You know, like a trophy. Like, wow, I love yeah. this book so much. Um, all right. And then last one is how would you define the word grit? Grit. You know, I think grit is a very visceral word. It comes from within. It's something that's within you to keep on going. To whether it's the, the fight or the just the act of getting up tomorrow. Uh, it, grit is is it, it just comes from within, and it's motivation and it's perseverance and it's courage all wrapped up into one little package. Love it. That is a great definition. Thank you. I'm going to actually like go back and like write this one down and make a post out of it. That's a great <laughs> little definition. I love it. Thank, Thank you, you so much, uh, so much, honestly, for coming down and, and joining us here and Thank sharing you your heart, sharing your passion, sharing your mission. I think what you're doing is, is really important. Thank you so much for having me on. I'm grateful. I really appreciate the time. Oh, absolutely. So one more time, tell everyone who you are okay. and specifically where they can find you. All right, I'm Diane Curley and I'm on Facebook and LinkedIn. I live right here on Long Island in Bethpage. Uh, just reach out to me um, for anything and and uh, let's do this together. And what's the name of, the, of, your, of your planner again? Celebrating Women, Planner and Journal for 2020, available on Amazon and at Bravante Publishers, which is a nice woman-owned publishing company. I love it. Thank you. Keeping it all in the family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even my graphic designer that I hired and, mm -hmm. my, and the artwork is all yeah. from women. So Amazing. it's like by women for women. I love that. <laughs> I love that. Well, thank you again so much for, for, for coming out. I know everyone is absolutely going to love this episode. Um, I think you're, you have this very kind spirit about you. And uh, I think what you're doing is just going to just resonate really, really well with, with a lot of people. So that's wonderful. So everyone, you guys need to go follow her. Um, ask her lots of questions. And, uh, you know, it's just a really in inspiring. Interview. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> listen, you're, it's just what you're doing is so inspiring. Um, here's the planner. Uh, that you can go ahead and you could buy it on Amazon right now mm -hmm. called Celebrating Women Planner and Journal 2020. And w I'm definitely going to have to have a follow-up with you, you know, especially in, in, uh, in advance of 2021 because I know this is going to be a constantly uh, moving, uh, evolving piece. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and for women that are interested in being interviewed, um, even if you're nervous about it, you know, at least have the conversation yeah. with you, right? Mm -hmm. Have a conversation because yeah. um, what's great about the interview is it's, it's in a written format. Yeah. Which seems to be a little maybe less intimidating for some women to mm -hmm. be able to share in the written format. Than yeah, yeah. Incredible. Well, there you go, guys. You've been inspired. Mm -hmm. Go find her. Get her planner. It's It really is great. Thank you. And I'm sure that there's a lot of other great stories that you're sharing uh, on various so social media channels mm -hmm. that you could probably consume every single day. Follow her. Love her. <laughs> and we're going to have her back without a doubt. All right. Rob, yeah. Thanks so much. <laughs> oh, you're great. welcome. You're welcome. Thank you. Well, guys, thanks so much for tuning in. Uh, remember, don't fear the process. And don't fear grit. We'll see you next time. Take care, guys.